My husband's best friend creeped my daughter out at her sweet 16. Okay guys. I think I've figured this out. A lot happened today and I'm stress typing this so for those who did not see my comment earlier, I'm not getting a divorce with my husband at this time. If anything sketchy or something I see that crosses a line that notion may change though. I did not immediately assume my husband was into CP, it's something I assumed H was into. While on a phone call with S she said we should go through my husband's things too. I agreed, me and my husband have an open phone policy anyways, I'll admit I've never checked his phone since our second was born, so it's not like I was pushing boundaries by saying this. So today I had a very long talk with my second eldest son and my daughter. I told them what happened, though save a few details, like the text messages, and simply said that H had been saying inappropriate things. I told them that whatever happens going forward, it's not their fault, nor is it my daughter's in any way. It's the child lover mind of someone we trusted. I asked them if he, or anyone, had done anything to any of them, and if they had, that I wouldn't be angry at them, and would be proud they spoke up my daughter said he would sometimes get too close, put his arm around her shoulders, but nothing that ever made her alarm bells go off in her head. I reiterated to her that she was not to blame for what happened and it's all on H. We hugged and I held her as she cried for a bit. My second eldest son was quiet, which he often is, but he told me that he never really liked H and thought he was weird. I asked him again if anything happened and he said no. We talked about more things to do with this type of stuff and I think it ended well. My two youngest children simply know that H did bad stuff and we won't be seeing him for a long long time. Then around lunchtime my husband came home, I never did go through with telling him to stay away, and he was basically sobbing at my feet outside our front door. He told me he was so confused and angry about what happened, that he was convinced his best friend wasn't like that. That he had been drinking last night after he left and fell into a bit of self-hatred. He wasn't with H though, but he had been texting with him that night. I asked him why he never stood up for me and my daughter, why he stayed the night with H. He said I was making a scene at our daughter's birthday party and didn't want to ruin the day for her, and he stayed the night because it was too late anyways by the time he stopped talking with H. I hate this apology though, maybe it's the comments echoing in my ears, but it felt fake and that he was minimizing my pain and maximizing his. I'm not sure. He went silent when he saw S at the house though, I told him that she was staying a few nights. I didn't give him much of an explanation. Later when I started to make dinner he came up behind me and hugged me. I pushed him back, told him that I didn't want any physical touch with him anytime soon. He got angry, telling me that it was over now that he apologized and promised to stand up for us in the future. I told him that he has to make up for what he did in the past first, that he needs to talk with our daughter. He went to go sulk somewhere and I haven't really seen much of him since. Hopefully that made enough sense as I'm rushing the last bit. Shout out to everyone who's been helping me it's just a lot to do in a short time now that my husband is already back in the home. Also to the misogynists who keep telling me to take a step back and breath, that my husband is being logical and I am being emotional, scroll up three paragraphs to where he was blubbering on our doorstep.